Good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday morning. Happy, terrific teaching Tuesday. Wherever you are in the world, this is Jordan again speaking. I just thank the Lord for life. I thank for health. I thank for strength. I thank for seeing another day because God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. And when you give thanks unto the Lord, He is forever merciful. His favor and mercies are new every morning. I'm looking very, very wonderful this morning in my red. But God is very good. Let us pray. We are going down to Psalms and then we are going down to the prayers and also the lectures. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for every single thing. Father, I thank you for waking up your people, Father, Lord, wherever they are in the world, international, locally, Father, American, Caribbean. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, Lord, you sanctify them. You consecrate them. You, Father, Lord, give them comfort. Father, Lord, you are the healer. You are the deliverer. You are everything to us. And without you, Father, Lord, we cannot do nothing without you, Father, Lord, because your presence is so blissful and so joyous and so praise, Father, Lord, that we could praise you this morning. So we just ask this, Father, Lord, I'm about to bring a message, about to bring a scripture verse, about to bring your word, Father, Lord. I pray it will be a blessing to the hearts that, Father, Lord, it, this will change your lives forever. Father, Lord, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And we just thank you, Lord, Jesus, that we could come into your presence every morning to give a word to your people. Father, Lord, I just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So we are about to bring a message, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our oh Lord. Amen. So, we are going on to the prayers, right, first to beginning. Before I go on to the prayers, have your writing materials and reading materials ready okay so you will take down notes and you will follow through okay so bible prayer a teenage parents prayer so those who have teenage children this is a parents prayer this is for you all to pray every day of your life prayers prayer has changed things through god okay so protect my teenage children from bad company that will destroy their lives. I trust that I have brought them up well to uphold your teachings wherever they go. Keep them away from evil and remind them to always obey you, Lord. Amen. Okay, so this is for parents who have teenage children. They could pray this prayer. A teenage parents pray, right? Prayer before graduating from school. So those who are in college, those who are graduating or now finish the masters or graduating and think this is a prayer for you all. Thank you, my mighty warrior, for helping me complete my education. All through the years, as I prepare to graduate, use me as your vessel, O Lord, to do your work and explore my profession at a higher level. Let all that I have learned from school be beneficial to society for the glory of your name, O Lord. Amen. Okay? Prayer against fear. Okay? You promise that when you are with us, Father Lord, we shall be able to handle any situation that comes our way. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, our land, tribe of Judah, Father Lord, protect us, O Lord, from the dangers of evil, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, that you shall take away fear from our hearts. Pray from people's hearts, Father Lord, and fill them with the courage and the strength. Let your light shine along their path, Father Lord, even in the darkest hour. Amen. Okay? A prayer to start new day. It is bright new days that you have provided us, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for every day. Every day is a new day. Thank you, Lord, Father Lord, that we could get up. And Father Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Because some people won't be getting up this morning, Father Lord, if it wasn't for you, Father Lord Jesus. I humbly ask you to lead our way and lead and guide our way, Father Lord, from, from evil, Father Lord. Today, as I follow, help me make, help people make, Father Lord, the most out of this day before it ends. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Prayer before exam. So those of you all are doing exam students and granny and people in go, who go into school still right or who doing online classes or whatever 
this is for you lord i come before you today as my intelligence is being put to the test remind me of the lessons i've learned in school protect me from cheating during the examination so that i may get fair scores let your wisdom prevail father lord let your wisdom prevail during the test and calm my anxiety O lord amen right a prayer on a birthday party so whoever has a birthday or happy birthday to you all okay this is for prayer on a birthday party i thank you lord for this day that you brought me to the world as i celebrate another new year in my life i invite you to take control of it make me wise as i grow older so that i may live to fulfill the work you have started in me through jesus christ O lord i pray amen Prayer during natural disasters. So this is the last prayer. I hope you all take along the prayers because it will be essential in all your daily lives. Okay? Please, Lord, do not let the wrath of nature engulf our land and its people. Oh, forgive us for sinning against you, Lord, and parting from your word. I know that no one can stand a chance when you are angry, O Lord. Save us as you save the people who obeyed you in Noah's act. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. That is prayer during natural disasters. So those of you all with storms and all these things where God is sending, these things, pray. When you pray this, these prayers, these prayers will change your life forever. True God. Okay? So I hope you all love the prayers segment. And let us go now into Psalms. If you have a King James Version or your Amplified Bible, Psalms chapter 48, verse 1 to 14. Okay, hold on one minute, hold on. So... Psalms chapter 48, verse 1 to 14. Okay. So, I hope you all love this. Excuse me. I hope you all love these prayers. So it's saying in Psalm 48, verse 1 to 14, Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Fair and beautiful for, ever, for elevation is the joy of all the earth. The Mount Zion, the city of David, the size of the north Mount Moriah and the temple, the whole city of the great king, Matthew 5, 35, God has made himself known in her palaces for a refuge, a high tower and a stronghold. For lo, the kings assembled. They came onward and they passed away together. They looked. They were amazed. They were stricken with terror and took to flight, affrighted and dismayed, trembling, took hold of them. There and pain as of a woman in childbirth. Where the east wind you shattered the ships of Tartish. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever, so I pause and calmly think of that. We have thought of your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of our temple, as is your name. O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness, right, rightness, and justice. Let Mount Zion be glad. Let the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your righteous judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Number her towers, her lofty and noble deeds of past days. Consider well her ramparts. Go through her palaces and citadels that you may tell the next generation and cease recalling disappointments. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even until death. So Psalm 48 verse 1 to 14, it says, Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God, his holy mountain. So that means to say that great is the Lord. 
greatly to be praised. He's highly exalted. He's highly praised. He's higher than everybody. He's the king of kings. He's reigning on the earth. He reigns on heaven and on earth. And he is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going of the sun. He is worthy to be praised. Right? Because he will always forever be the king of kings. He will always forever be Salai. He will always forever be Jehovah. He will always be forever redeemer and friend. He will always be forever the comforter. He will always be forever every single thing that I mention. Right? Because he is extraordinary. He is the great high priest. He is redeemer. He is sustainer. He is protector. He is everything to us. And no matter what we are going through, we call upon the name of the Lord and he will hear our cry. Number two. Fair and beautiful for evelation is the joy of all the earth. Okay? So fair and beautiful is elevation because elevation means to go up higher. Right? So fair and beautiful is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He is the Lord. He is highly exalted. He is beautiful beyond description. He's elevated. He's, he's above every other name. Because the joy, that is the joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The Mount Zion, the city of David, the size of the north, the Mount Moriah and the temple, the whole city of the great king. So he is called different names. The Mount Zion is the Lord Jesus Christ. The city of David is the Lord Jesus Christ. Mount Moriah and the temple is the city of the great king. The great king who died on the cross. The great king, the great king who saved us from going to a lost eternity. The great king who did miracles for people like you and me. Right? So he's the great king. He's highly and favored, exalted, and beautiful, and faithful, and, and really, really fair. F-A-I-R. Not F-E-A-I. Not F-E-A-R, sorry. Okay? Number three. God has made himself known in her palaces for a refuge, a high tower, and a stronghold. So God has made himself known. He already is known. Right? Because he created us. He created us in his own likeness. And we have to just ought to worship him. We ought just have to trust him. We ought to just please him. We ought to just obey him. We ought to just have faith. We ought to just do the right things in, in his sight. And we will get the benefits. We will get the promises that he promised each and every individual. Right? So, verse 4. For lo, the kings assembled, they came onward, and they passed away together. So, the kings were assembled in the palace, right? The kings were assembled, and they came onward, and they passed away together. So that means to say they passed on, right? They, they, passed, they passed away, right? They, they, they were alive, but they're now dead, right? But God has the life. Because the life and death is, is in the power of the tongue, right? He holds the keys to heaven and hell. Okay? Jesus Christ, the mediate, the mediocre between man. Right? They looked, they were amazed, and they were struck on water and took to flight, affrighted and dismayed. So affrighted and dismayed mean. They were so shocking, and they and they so were afraid of Jesus Christ because they were stricken. They were amazed. They looked. They look upon the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Because his countenance was very bright and shining like the sun, right? And they were so amazed that he could have do he could do wondrous works for his father. He is he obeyed his father, his heavenly father. He came to do a work to save mankind, to save souls from going a lost eternity. Right? And he was so amazed, and they were so amazed. The kings in the palaces were so amazed that the line of Judah, that Jehovah, they do miracles. And they were stricken with terror in their, in their lives. Because their lives, their lives had really took a, a haste upon them. Right? And trembling took hold of them. So they were trembling. They were gnashing of teeth. They were trembling. Upon the Lord Jesus Christ. 
because they didn't know they didn't know that he was the king of kings they didn't know from before yes they did hear a little few things from people passing by and thing in the palaces but they were very very much afraid i say god i don't i know and they were so shocked and they were trembling and it took hold and it took hold of them it took hold their pain and as a woman of in childhood so in this context right when you when when women making babies right when women making children they have labor right is a process so this childbirth right woman in childbirth this is a, a phrase right it means to say bring forth fruitfulness blossom fruitfulness right pain is labor they were trembling to call off them and there and pain as a woman a childbirth right so that means it bring forth something right rebirth right rebirth something resurrect something that's what this mean this context mean right with the east wind you shattered the ships of tartish so with the east wind and the west wing and the north wing and the south wing it shattered the ships of tartish tartish it was a place right in the palaces in them old testaments right as we have heard so have we seen in the city of the lord of hosts in the city of our god god will establish it forever so god will god will rebuild the city of tartish god will rebuild the ships of tartish that's what god say because as we have heard so have we seen in the city of the lord of hosts so in the city of the great king the great high priest which is the lord the king of kings he will rebuild he will establish every single building and restore every land upon forever and ever so lie we have taught our of our steadfast love O god in the midst of our temple so the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercy flow come to end they are new every morning so the steadfast love is mercy favor and grace upon the love god is going to pour out the blessings and the favors and mercies upon the people of Mount Moriah, upon the people of the city of David, and upon people of Mount Zion. He's going to pour out, right? Because they labor, they work hard, and they shall get blessings and eternal blessings through Christ. Just as how we as Christian people, when we obey the Lord, when we focus on Him, when we put our faith and trust and believe on the Lord, He will give us rewards. He will give us blessings. He will give us open doors. But when you when you're not when you take it off your eyes upon the Lord and you're going in your wrong ways, He will not bless you. Right? You have to repent and surrender your life to the Lord and allow God to work into your life right and do not go back into frivolous things stay on one course stay on the right path right he will direct you and lead you right to your journey right as right so verse 9 we have thought of your steadfast love right so verse 10 as in as is your name O god so is your praise to the ends of the earth so the ends of hear my cry O god attend to my prayer unto the ends of the earth will i cry unto you when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i that is psalm 61 right so as is your name O god so is your praise so your name is very reverent your, your grace and mercy and favor is new every morning. Your praise is to the ends of all the earth, all the four corners of the earth. Your ends, we praise you, we magnify, we sanctify your presence, O oh Lord. Right? Hear my cry, O oh God, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, that is higher than I, for thou hast been 
a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i 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 that is higher than I, that is higher than I, yeah, 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 that is higher than I. So, let, okay, your right hand is full of righteousness and rightness and justice. So your right hand is full of justice. Justice means fair judgment. Right? Fair. F-A-I-R. Rightness. The righteous will always prevail. Right? So let Mount Zion be glad and let the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your righteous judgments. Just as Josan said, justice is fair judgment. Let Mount Zion be glad. So Mount Zion, we are, we are turning our ships for sale. We are worshiping the Lord. We are warriors. We are champions. We are bodies of Christ. We are army of the Lord. Right? So, let Mount Zion be glad. So, Mount Zion have to be glad. And let the daughters of Judah be glad. So, we are the daughters of Judah. We are the sons and daughters. We are the, we are the line of Judah. We are the tribe of Judah for the Lord. We, are, we have to give an account for ourselves right walk about zion and go round about her number her towers her lofty and noble deeds of passage so every okay our life is numbered through god our life is numbered he knows how much um here we have on our head he knows that we we want things, but we have to ought to pray. Prayer is an essential thing. The power of prayer is an essential thing in your lives. Okay? So use it wisely. Every day you could pray. Every day you could sanctify. Every day you could shout. Shout unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endure it forever. A joy, a joy, a joy in my heart. I love the Lord. Oh, yeah, 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 I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endure it forever. His truth is all to all generations. I love the Lord. He is good. His mercy, his mercy and grace is everlasting. Okay? So consider well her ramparts. Go through her palaces and citadels that you may tell the next generation and cease recalling disappoint, disappointments. So consider well her ramparts. That means consider well her, her being. That through her palaces and her settles, right? So that means that the next generation is the next generation, the children's children, the adults, next generation, next of kin, all these things, right? Consider them. Right, go into the secret place and pray. Okay, and the last verse for this God is our God, as forever and ever, and He will be our guide even until we die. Okay, so He is our guide, He's our refuge, He's a comforter, He's everything to us, and we are so thankful. So, in closing, right, in closing, we or as saints of God, as children of God, at the Most High, we ought to focus on the Lord. We ought to give Him all the praise. We ought to worship Him. We ought to read our Bibles. We ought to do these things, because without that, with all the with all God in our lives, we are doomed. Right? We are nothing. 
God is using us as vessels for his kingdom and his glory. So we have ought to worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this whole, whole, like, this whole, whole scripture verse. I pray in the name of Jesus, we are blessed to us wherever in the, uh, in the world, Father. I pray, Father, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, you sanctify and consecrate your people, Father, Lord, and let them focus on you. Let them seek you daily. Let them do what is right, Father. So I was about to bring your lecture, Father. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, we are blessed to us in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So, hold on one minute. I hope you all enjoy the prayers and the Psalms 48 verse 1 to 14. That will be a blessing to all your hearts and all will be uplifting and inspiring others to come to know Jesus Christ as a personal savior. Okay. So we are going into dieting and weight loss. Right. Chapter seven, right? Adopting a low car, a low carb diet. Okay. So, Diets have appeared in many different forms, especially fat diets. Among the problem with these fat diets is that as well as often leaving you feeling very hungry, they can also be unhealthy and only work for a short space of time. Research has indicated that the most effective diets are those that can be adhered to over long periods of time. In case of fat diets, weight tends to be very erratic, and while you may lose weight initially, it is not unusual to put that weight back on and eventually increase your weight. So you will lose sometimes and think the weight mightn't come back because you are changing your diet and take, right? When you keep on eating, eating, um, up to yesterday I was talking about weight loss and about the, gra about the calories and the grams and to, and to lose the weight and all these things. But you cannot change your diet you have to stick to stick to the plan okay one of the huge benefits of a low carb diet is that you do not feel to need to feel hungry this may seem like it avoids the point of a diet but it doesn't the aim of dieting is not to eat less but to lose weight or eat more healthier the most famous of all low carb diets is the atkins diet that this remains popular because it allows you to eat good sized meals meals and is proven to help you lose weight the basic of a low carb diet are that you can eat as much food as you like until you are full as long as you only eat the low foods like generally speaking this includes meat cheese fish eggs and poultry you are also allowed a certain amount of green vegetables each day as well as being a healthy way to lose weight a low carb diet will give you a sustained weight loss meaning you can continue to lose weight even after initial push and you will keep the weight off once it is gone it will also lower your cholesterol and blood pressure as well as stabilize your blood sugar level you should supplement a low carb diet with multivitamins because your body will become partially starved of these essential vitamins so always remember it will lower your cholesterol and blood sugar and you could take tonics or multivitamins to uplift your body and boost your body to a state, right? Carb addict, yes or no? Okay. Would you like to find out what those in the know have to say about carbohydrates? The information in my, my notebook below comes straight from well-informed experts with special knowledge about carbohydrates. Now that we've covered those aspects of carbohydrates, let's turn to some of the other factors that need to be considered. So I hope you all write in and take long notes because this will be essential in your daily lives and holy lives, right? 
It has been estimated that three out of every four overweight people are addicted to carbohydrates. But what does this mean? In essence, it means that you have too much of the hormone insulin in your body, in your system. This insulin prompts you to eat often and to consume the wrong types of food. Some of the telltale signs of carbohydrate addiction include fatigue, mood swings, and migraines, which can be caused by low blood sugar, right? Or nausea too. A carb addiction can lead you to consume a whole bag of pretzels in one sitting or to indulge in half a cake at dinner time. Your body is conditioned to eat as many carbs as possible. Thus, it may seem that at times you never really satisfy, no matter how much or how often you eat. The authors of the program believe that if you follow this regimen, you will lose your cravings for carbohydrates in time. If your urge to consume carbs does not disappear by the second week of the program, they recommend checking your diet to see whether you are following the program closely. Right? So this is a carb addicts plan. This is to tone, this is to thing your waistline, this is not to eat foods that you used to eat and crave, a craving, okay? With the carb addicts plan, like other diet plans, you need to closely monitor your portion sizes. All of your hard work will be in vain if you allow yourself to overindulge in sweets, even if it is for only one meal a day. Also, you need to make sure that the protein you consume is not high in fat. You may want to eat fish chicken with the skin removed or lean meats when trying to obtain a protein source. Another important aspect of the carb addicts plan is that you are not permitted artificial sweetener except during, during your reward meal. This can be quite a challenge, especially if you are accustomed to sweeten coffee in the morning. However, it can be well worth the deprivation in the long run as you see those pongs melt away. There is no set time for the road meal. However, the authors of the plan recommended that the meal take place in the evening. This is because it can take 12 to 24 hours for the body to overcome carbohydrates overload. So it's a process. It's a process. It will take longer to process than you eat Good healthy foods rather than because when you keep on going back in sweets and going back in in the old cravings and all these things it will make more worse okay so I suggest you stick to a diet plan that suits you best okay you should begin your reward meal with a salad such as a Caesar salad or an oriental salad then divide the rest of the meal into thirds one third should consist of low carb veg vegetables, one third protein, and one third carbs. This formula has proven successful in enabling in individuals to achieve long term weight loss. As with many other meals plans, the biggest challenge for those who are on the carb addicts diet is ability to stick with it. Dieting can be hard work, no matter what kind of rewards await an individual at the end of the day. Your commitment will enable you to stay with the program. So make up your mind, folks, on what you want to do in life. Make up your mind in terms of diet plan. Stick to a diet plan. Do not go back in cravings because that will lead to plenty problems in life, consequences. Okay? Right? Serve the World Wide Web. And you'll find a number of testimonials offering glowing reviews of the carb addicts diet. But you should keep in mind that results can differ from any individual. So you'll have testimonies of people saying they lose weight. So look at them. Check them out on the World Wide Web, the internet. Okay? And you will see for yourself. And you will want to try it too. Okay? Others may see only moderate weight loss. Right? The success of the program may depend on your own individual psychology. That is individual. It will have different testimonies. Not, not everybody is the same. But you have different testimonies of people weighing, losing weight and then, and then gaining weight and they love their body and they're running and these things. So check it out. Check it out when you get time. Right? Is the carb addicts that a fad? 
it all depends on who you talk to. While some people see it as a significant dietary breakthrough, others view it as just a passing fancy. Medical experts disagree as to whether the carb addicts diet represents sound nutrition. In the end, you in consultation with your personal physician will have to decide whether the carb addicts diet will work for you. So, the carb addicts diet consists of eating healthier food, stop going back into cravings, and it will give you a more lean, trimmed down to the waistline, slim, and it will be able to help you all out weight, lose 60 pounds, right? And calories and all these things and carbs and these things. It will be able to be to be a best version of yourself, the carb diet plan okay carb sorry addicts that will work for you the day will come when you can use something you read about here about here in my notes to have a beneficial impact then you'll be glad you took the time to learn more about carbohydrates so my notes right and other i research this too and i take down whatever and i end up putting it all together in one, right? For you all to understand, right? So this is how it's going down, right? Eggs, um, green vegetables, tomatoes, broccoli, corn flour, all these things are good for you, right? Take the low carb diet addict plan, right? That will work with you because that will have you eating more vegetables, and you will and your body will be looking good and great and you'll be running and exercising and you will be more comfortable within your own self right do not go back and take no old equivalents if you want to take a little candy now and then no problem but stick to a diet plan stick to a good diet plan what is best suited for you ask your doctor what is best suited for you right or your personal physician okay or Go to God too and pray about whatever plans you want because sometimes you need to pray. Prayer does change things to God. Okay? So just recapping, we dealt up with today. Psalms 48 was 1 to 14 and I explained that you need to see God first and you need to praise Him and worship Him. Also, we did, dealt up with the prayers today. And I give you prayers for your children, prayers for, your, well, parents and teenagers and children all in one. And that will uplift you and inspire you, but it will help you all out to live a daily and holy life with God. And be serious, because this life is not no joke, right? And then we dealt up with the diet, dieting and weight loss series, chapter 7 today, right? And I explained to you. To, to choose the right adopting a low carb diet right and I, I show you some examples and all these things so i hope this bless your hearts let us pray heavenly father we just thank you for this whole lecture this whole prayer for the lord scriptural video i pray the name of jesus will be a blessing to their hearts for lord that lord they will take it they will focus on you for lord they will love themselves more they will take exercise they will eat healthier for the lord and not only craving for sweets and all these things for lord that for the lord yes that lord they will know for the lord that lord you are the one in control for lord that lord they will love themselves and love you for the lord and stop studying these ways and ways of this world for the lord Father Lord, yes, and pray for people, Father Lord, that Lord, they will understand and they will, and they will save souls, Father Lord, saints of God, Father Lord. So I about to close, I pray in the name of Jesus, you have a blessed day, Father Lord, in America and in Caribbean, Father Lord, yes, and Father Lord, you sanctify them and send your angels, Father Lord, around the house, Father Lord, and camp around the house, Father Lord, and Father Lord, you cover them and protect them from any evil, Father Lord, that is coming near their families and the children and their friends and people alike, Father Lord. So I pray, Father Lord, yes, that they will have a blessed day. In the name of Jesus Christ, our oh Lord, amen. So this is just the Morris Bible study. I pray in the name of Jesus, so bless all your hearts. And 
focus on the Lord. Keep doing your exercise. Keep running around in your, out, your backyard. You know, get some dumbbell weights, right? Do some exercises, right? And keep being you, loving yourself more. You're always beautiful in the Lord's eyes. But keep doing what you're supposed to do because God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you and say, okay. I'm looking very, very wonderful this morning. And remember to have faith in the Lord, trust the Lord, and he will see you through, okay? So you have a blessed day. I will be praying for you all. Love you with the love of Jesus. You have a blessed day. And I'll see you on another other video tomorrow. Please, the Lord. Bible study will be early as usual. Okay? So. Bye-bye.